shit. What it do? It's your boy, Cody Chows. And if you're not sub to the channel yet, it's you missing out. Not me. Anyway, we got some shit to talk about today. But first of all, let me show you exactly what we'll work with today. I woke up starving. So we got some vegetable tempura here. Nothing crazy. We got some spicy connie salad. That's crazy. And we got a spicy scallop roll and a spicy shrimp roll. I don't know which one is which yet. And we're out of Diet Coke, so I had to resort for a Diet Dr. Pepper. Die Dr. Pepper hits. Okay, so first off, you guys know, if you are sub to the channel, that I'm a big wrestling fan, and you guys see me wearing the shirts all the time. So my brother and I actually have tickets to WrestleMania both nights, which is crazy. I think it was like $1,800. But honestly, we got pretty good seats. We're sitting on the floor. I'm just hoping that we'll be able to see all these other people, bro. I mean, it's, it's going to be a crazy two nights. Oh, no. This first little piece is falling apart, but aren't we all? Mm -hmm. I needed that today. But you guys are always talking about the shirts that I'm wearing in the videos and stuff. So I kind of wanted to give y'all like a little run through. So I got this OG one that says, get the F out. This is obviously WWF original, probably early 2000s. We've all seen this one before. Uh, I think this one's vintage. Uh, this is an old ass one and it doesn't even fit me. It's got some holes in it and shit. But you know what? I still like it a lot. Just doesn't fit me. It's very short and... I'm very short, so this is very short. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite ones, my Sting shirt. I mean, listen, you can even watch videos of WCW in like the late 90s and you would see this shirt literally on a fan. So that one's lit. Oh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, baby. I remember when I was younger, my dad, he brought us to McDonald's one time and we saw this really jacked hand dude. My dad told us it was Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. And ever since then, McDonald's breakfast for me is just resonated as like a childhood classic. It's a childhood classic, but that kind of just like cemented in my mind how cool McDonald's was. We saw freaking Scott Steiner. Anyway, that shirt's lit. This is actually another Scott Steiner shirt. The front's not crazy. Came in read it but on the back it says who's your daddy and honestly this is probably my favorite shirt if you look back at my videos i wear this a lot like a hell of a lot i have a brock lesnar shirt from 2002 amidst all the controversy um but i stained it up it's all good i'll just get another one and then this is an absolute fan favorite this is the wcw monday nitro shirt then on the back it gives you 10 top 10 reasons to watch monday nitro and they literally throw shade in monday night raw and i thought that was cool as hell so if y'all want to look through all the shirts i just gave you let me know which ones do you want to see me wearing at wrestlemania because i'm probably going to end up making a video out of it getting some food there or whatever so it's going to be a good time i'll give you all my predictions but let me let me eat some of this food Mm. Sushi honestly would just always do it for me. Mm. This is definitely the scallop roll. It's definitely a scallop roll. Mm. Mm. They do still be kind of crispy. I'm going to give you all my predictions, okay, for WrestleMania. Cody's winning the belt. He's finishing the story. It's it's just going to happen, and The Rock is going to turn on the bloodline. I guarantee y'all. I mean, they should have everybody turn against Roman at WrestleMania. I'm saying that would make for, like, cinematic, like, experience. That should be, like, a legit a movie. Why does shit look like a donut? What's actually in here? I'm curious. Is it carrot? I'm just wondering why it's in the shape of a donut. It's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. That's for sure carrot. Now I'm saying Rhea Ripley better win or we gonna riot because mommy is always on top. Sammy doesn't belong anywhere near the Intercontinental title right now. It has to be Chad Gable that wins that shit. They, they kind of just wrote Chad Gable off like justice for my boy, I'm saying.
Bailey's for sure winning. I don't know what's going on with the tag team division right now. I'm just kind of sick of it. And I'm sick of Damian Priest holding on to that stupid money in the bank. He's not, he hasn't even done anything with it, you know? Mm. The Broccoli Tempura, Loki is always kind of the best. Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. I love Seth Rollins, but he needs like a revamp, bro. They got to take that title off and give it to Drew or something. Plus, Drew does deserve it. He's been putting in some good-ass work these past few months and whatever. I'm just hoping that a lot of my my people here are WWE -E 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 fans, WWE fans. But I know y'all are food fans. Let me get a hit of this Connie salad right quick. Mmm. I should be hitting. I'm saying Connie salad for me, bro, is always kind of that one thing that's just consistent. Mm -hmm. Also, Logan Paul needs to lose that title. Love Logan Paul. His in-ring work is just phenomenal, but he needs to lose that title, hopefully, to Randy Orton. Randy Orton needs some crazy since he came back, but also to KO. I don't know. We're we going to see how that shit works out, and I'm saying that AJ Styles is going to win between him and LA Knight. They can't. I, I, don't, I mean, I want LA Knight to win, but I think AJ's going to win. Now, speaking of Randy Orton, though, I'm going to give an RKO to Dan Schneider. Anybody watch that Nickelodeon Quiet on Set documentary they just came out with? I'm saying, like, that's just foul. And listen, there is a spoiler alert, so if you're watching this, maybe just stop watching the video if you do want to watch it. But if you kind of, it's not like a movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's real life shit, so there's really not any spoilers. You can just look this shit up. But I'm saying, bro, I feel so bad for Drake Bell, what he went through and shit. And I feel, like, terrible for his dad because, like, he knew that that shit was going on, you know? And this Brian Peck guy, what an absolute piece of shit. Like, I usually don't get, like, hit really hard by a lot of stuff that I see on, like, TV shows and, like, real life or whatever. But that was my childhood, dog. It ain't right seeing, like, you know what I'm saying, all my people going down like that. Especially Amanda Bynes. I'm pretty sure they were saying that Dan Schneider got her pregnant at, like, 13 years old or some shit like that. Yeah, they, they can both catch the RKO. Like, I would throw the both of them off the hell in a cell with barbed wire at the bottom. And they for sure ain't touching any of my Connie salad because they gross. But I can't even watch either of those shows now without, like, feeling some bad you know what i mean i'm sure some people are still gonna watch that and shit for me though like i feel like i'm like supporting dan schneider i don't know if he still makes money off of that shit if i stream it on like hulu or like whatever which i'm sure now the reruns probably aren't even on or won't be on whatever i don't really watch much tv but i do stream mm. broccoli bitch is good Mm. I'm good. But I'm saying Drake and Josh, Drake did mention that that was like a better part of his life because it made him forget about all that he was going through. But it's all in that time frame that he was going through that shit. So like, I don't know how to feel about it. Like just looking at them in the show, you would never know, bro. I gave all those kids so much props. And for years, we heard about Dan Snyder and like kind of like just all speculation and shit. Watching that documentary really just put everything into perspective for me. That dude was sick in the head. Just say it. And I feel like the same thing is going to come out about Disney Channel, though, because they were saying when Brian Peck, the dude that sexually assaulted Drake, got let go of Nickelodeon, Disney signed him to work on Zack and Cody. My name's Cody. That's kind of like, you can't be doing my boy Cody like that, all right? Now, I feel like in, in one of these coming years, they are going to end up doing some shit like that where they do come out about, like, maybe a spinoff of Quiet on set and just, like, about this Disney Channel kids. Like, I feel like they went through some stuff, too, that isn't really talked about. But now they got the Quiet on set for Nickelodeon. So hopefully, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, people start to come around and say something. This is different than cancel culture. These people just deserve to be, like, brought to the full extent of the law and whatever. You know what I mean? It's not like cancel culture where they did something stupid. These people did something wrong.
So for that reason, yeah, Dan Schneider is most certainly getting an RKO. Brian Peck might get a little worse for, and you know what? They're both just as bad. Comment below what you would do to these guys in a WWE ring. I'm curious. And this Connie Salad is good, dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, your boy's getting kind of full, bro. I'm saying, like, one more bite. <sighs> and talking about these scumbags just gets me all worked up, and then I'm just more full, more quick. What is this? Can anybody tell me what is inside of this right now? I've had this a lot of times, and I just always forget what it actually is. It's good. How is it? I honestly have no idea. And this is really going to make me angry. Chat, let me let me know what the hell that actually is. It's good. I just don't know what it is. And it's kind of like throwing me off. You know what I mean? I should know my food. I am a food reviewer slash a food critic. I told you last time. I really don't know. All right, that's about all the champs got for y'all today. If you guys have any questions about WrestleMania, uh, also, guys, let me know what shirts I should be wearing to WrestleMania. I'm definitely going to make a video while I'm down there. I'll do a couple spots while I'm in Philly, blah, blah, blah. It should be lit. Hey, much love, peeps. I'll see you next time. How you doing?